Harare, Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, who has ruled Zimbabwe since independence in 1980, resigned as president on Tuesday shortly after lawmakers began impeachment proceedings against him, according to the Speaker of Parliament. The Speaker of Parliament read out a letter in which Mr. Mugabe said he was stepping down with immediate effect for the welfare of the people of Zimbabwe and the need for a peaceful transfer of power. Parliament erupted into cheers and jubilant residents poured into the streets of Harare, the capital. It seemed to be an abrupt capitulation by Mr. Mugabe, 93, the world's oldest head of state and one of Africa's longest-serving leaders. He had refused to step down only two days earlier, even after his political party, ZANU-PF, formally expelled him. Mugabe into custody last Wednesday signaling an end to his 37-year rule. ZANU-PF expelled Mr. Mugabe as its leader on Sunday, but Mr. Mugabe stunned the nation that evening with a televised address in which he refused to step down. Pressure from within the country and from abroad has been building on Mr. Mugabe to resign, but observers said on Tuesday that the country might have to brace itself for lengthy impeachment proceedings. Greg Linington, a constitutional law expert at the University of Zimbabwe, said that the Constitution did not stipulate a time frame for impeachment, and that a thorough process could take weeks or months. Mr. Mugabe should be given the right to reply and time to prepare, Mr. Linington said. It's important to get this right, he said. Suppose they don't do it properly and later on Mugabe brings a court application challenging the way the procedure was done. According to Zimbabwe's constitution, a president can be removed for serious misconduct, violating the constitution or inability to perform the functions of the office because of physical or mental incapacity. Committees must investigate and present evidence. Finally, Parliament can remove the president with a two-thirds vote in each of the two legislative chambers. Emerson Nangagwe, the military-backed politician whose firing led to a military takeover of Zimbabwe and efforts to oust President Robert Mugabe, broke his silence on Tuesday, urging the embattled leader to step down. Mugabe to resign, but observers had warned that the country might have to brace itself for lengthy impeachment proceedings. According to Zimbabwe's constitution, a president can be removed for serious misconduct, violating the constitution or inability to perform the functions of the office because of physical or mental incapacity. Committees must investigate and present evidence. Finally, parliament can remove the president with a two-thirds vote in each of the two legislative chambers. Emerson Nangagwe the military-backed politician whose firing led to a military takeover of Zimbabwe and efforts to oust Mr. Mugabe, broke his silence on Tuesday, urging the embattled leader to step down. Mr. Nangagwe, the former vice president who has not been seen in public since leaving Zimbabwe for South Africa on November 6, said he had refused the president's invitation to return for talks to Harare, Zimbabwe's capital.